right at six, making bid residents more help is finally on the streets. The county hired a company aimed to clean up that grind and debris still lingering on the streets. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz has the details. It's been about a month since Tropical Storm Irma, and there's still a lot to get cleaned up. We're getting there. But don't worry, help is on the way. We've got uh, Southern Disaster Recovery, uh, who's doing the removal, the Bretex doing the monitoring. Macon Bibb County put together a map to help Southern Disaster Recovery determine where help was needed the most. That map is a, um, a combination of the uh, information that we received in the EOC, where we knew we had trees down immediately after the storm, and plus, it is, a, it is also um, everybody from C Click Fix that called in and reported. We had trucks coming in last night. We've deployed two, two different crews this morning, uh, have additional crews coming in tonight and throughout the weekend. The cleanup process is expected to take about two months. In the meantime, the county asks you to be patient. You're going to see some delays as we're getting out and clearing these roads. You know, we might have to detour some areas. We might have to, you know, do the stop and slow areas. Just be patient. We're trying to get this cleaned up. And be cautious when you're driving. Please drive slowly. Give them a lot of room so we don't have anybody injured. Letting crews do their jobs to get your neighborhoods cleared. In Macon, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. The county is also hiring field debris monitors. They're paying $12 an hour. You can find out more information and how to apply on our website, 41NBC.com.